it's beautiful and it's amazing and it is truly a house of God. In the capital city of the Big Sky Country, the newly completed Helena, Montana Temple is open to the public before its dedication in June. What you'll notice when you enter the temple is, is a simplistic beauty, but what you'll feel is, is a spirit of peace. Just being able to go inside and see it and feel the spirit there and experience the beauty and that peace was really amazing. I was kind of overwhelmed at first. Latter-day Saints regard temples as the most sacred spaces on earth, literal houses of the Lord, where devout members participate in the highest sacraments of the faith. Which is one reason why we're so excited to have a temple in Helena. It's a place where we can worship uh, our Father in Heaven and the Savior in a way that just allows us to leave the world behind and, and enter a place that feels like Heaven. Like other temples, its architecture is majestic. Its finishes refined and beautiful. But the Helena Montana Temple has a unique distinction too as the first temple of its kind to use a revolutionary building process that promises more efficiency, less construction time, and a positive conservation impact. A new temple will be built in each of the following locations. Since becoming president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in 2018, President Russell M. Nelson has announced plans to build 133 new temples across the globe. Added to the list of temples previously announced and planning stages are under construction, there is an urgency to expedite those plans. We have a prophet who is, is just laser focused on the importance of temples and temple work. Bishop W. Christopher Waddell, first counselor in the church's presiding bishopric, is part of the leadership body charged with overseeing the prophet's temple building vision. We can't take five or, or ten years to build a temple now and keep up with President Nelson. 315 temples are in operation or development, reaching every corner of the world. We are adapting to the Council of a Prophet to provide temples for members of the church throughout the world, and so we have to do things a little bit differently to make sure that that can take place. Enter Blocks, a new technology, design, engineering, and construction company. The challenge? To shorten construction timelines while maintaining temple quality. The temple program is exquisite, it's sacred, it's not something that you just casually go about. Blocks is working with the church on a pilot program for select temples, a process referred to as DMI, short for Design, Manufacture and Install. DMI is the process of manufacturing temple modules in an off-site facility and then shipping them to an announced temple site for installation. Change from um, a stick built process where you recreate projects every single time, where you can really start to scale and leverage supply chain and other resources. Early on, Blocks Management familiarized themselves with the specifics of temple construction. And so this is showing the celestial room is actually one. The first part of that was trying to understand what it really meant to do a temple, which took us years. It's important to understand what matters, and it means a lot to understand what happens in these rooms. Chris Jatana and his team visited temples in Mesa, Arizona and Memphis, Tennessee. I came back and I said, we need to be more precise. And so we developed a flat platform and when we assembled the units, we knew within a width of a laser, whether it was plumb or not. No buildings have ever been tried uh, to uh, be built at this level with modular construction. That precision? the high standard of quality expected in building these sacred structures. Quality, above all else, I think that's what differentiates the church from any other client that I've worked with. In the Birmingham, Alabama plant, the first temple of this type was developed. The temple has 25 unique uh, modules that all piece together perfectly to align so that we can take this temple anywhere in the world. You don't quite understand it until you see the level of care that's gone into building a temple. The completed modular components are shrink-wrapped and shipped to the temple site. It's a remarkable thing to see the hand of the Lord in all of this. Because of, of progress in technology and construction methods, it's now possible to do what is being done. I came here uh, in two weeks and we have a structure. The ceiling, the wall, electrical, all put together. I feel like it's something that can change the, the way we build temples around the world. As a Latter-day Saint, logistics manager Zach Hart is grateful for the opportunity to be part of such a meaningful project. When I told my family what I was going to do in my new job, it was 
it was a it was a tearful moment that we'll be able to bring temples to many more people in a much faster time period than standard construction. This is what it's all about for us. What we're really looking at is trying to bring temples more to the members of the church. In many cases, the DMI process will reduce the time to build a temple by more than half. It's a changing game. You can build something like that with that high quality and that will open to bring that all over the world. It's the blessings that come from being able to participate in sacred ordinances. The more we can bring a temple to the people, the more they will attend. I feel these things will bless the life of the people. A new process that preserves the long-established quality and regal beauty found inside and out of sacred houses of the Lord, like the Helena Montana Temple. It's just going to be a continued blessing for members of the church around the world.